How to choose your niche as an influencer. If you plan on becoming an influencer, then you first need to do some strategy and think carefully about how you're going to plan your attack. And you really should think carefully. That's because the decisions that you make now, before you first get started as an influencer, will do more to shape your future success or failure than anything you do subsequently. In particular, you need to think hard about your niche. In this presentation, I'll guide you through the process. The first and most important thing to consider when choosing your niche is whether it is something you know well and feel passionately about. It's tempting as a marketer to look at the current biggest niches and the ones that traditionally earn the money than to pick the one that appeals most to you from there. But this is a mistake. Firstly, it is a mistake because a lack of real passion for the topic will come across as you write and post. Moreover, it's a mistake because you won't have anything new and interesting to contribute. Think about it. Who reads fitness content? People who like fitness. That means they probably know a bit about fitness. And if you're providing the most generic, surface-level content imaginable, then they're going to go elsewhere. To be a thought leader, you need to lead. And that means you need to stick with what you know. That isn't to say you should shy away from niches with a large appeal. Of course, having a bigger potential audience is a good thing. So try to pick a subject that is universal, like sex, money, health, etc. The problem is that doing this can also leave you as a small fish in a massive pond. How will you compete with the huge health brands like Men's Health or the established money influencers like Pat Flynn from SmartPassiveIncome.com? The answer is try to be more specific and to hone in on the exact niche that really interests you and that speaks to your audience. This might mean something like health for seniors, for example, or making money online for students. Another option is to combine two popular niches in a unique and interesting way. Either way, doing this will shrink your audience, but also help you to engage much more strongly with that audience once you find them. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.